Brexit. Jonathan Sacerdoti is live in London with the latest. Jonathan, what did we hear from the UK Health Secretary today? Well, today, two medical centres and a school have been temporarily closed and European stocks fell amid concerns about the impact of factory closures in China. There have now been more than 900 deaths from coronavirus worldwide. That's more than was caused by the SARS outbreak in 2002 and 2003. So here in England, four more patients have now been diagnosed. We heard that today with that virus. Two of them are healthcare workers. There are now eight known cases in the UK of the virus. Uh, County Oak Medical Center in Brighton has been temporarily closed down today. One of those infected was understood to be a worker in that medical practice and a cleaner in full body protective white clothing as you can see there and a mask was later seen cleaning the premises uh, and Brackley Medical Center in Northamptonshire says it also has closed due to a potential coronavirus incident but so far they're not confirming a case there and today's four newly diagnosed cases we're told are all understood to have come into contact with a businessman who'd been at a conference in Singapore and who was diagnosed in Brighton last week. It's thought that 11 British people have contracted the virus from this one man who's now feared to be a super spreader. And there were more than 100 other people at the same business meeting in Singapore with cases of coronavirus now identified in Malaysia and South Korea also linked to that Singapore meeting. So Jonathan, what does it mean now that the government has declared it an imminent threat? What does that mean effectively in terms of what kind of actions they're likely to take? Well, the government's declared it a serious and imminent threat to public health, as you say, and that means they've now got new legal powers that they've announced uh, that was done today, allowing people with the virus to be forcibly quarantined. Uh, this comes after one person reportedly tried to leave the quarantined hotel uh, that some have been detained in. Uh, and Public Health England uh, Medical Director Yvonne Doyle said that the latest UK cases of coronavirus are all closely linked to one another. She said that the priority is being to speak to those who've uh, who've sustained contact with confirmed cases so that they can advise them on what to do and how to limit the spread of the virus and that these new cases uh, the healthcare workers for example came into contact with this man so what they're trying to do at the moment is to keep this contained to keep that number of infections within the UK still down low and that is why they've introduced these new powers Jonathan very quickly is there a sense that authorities have things under control in the 20 seconds or so we have left well, the UK is doing its best. The health service says that it is well prepared, but there have also been warnings that this could just be the tip of the iceberg and that now the spread is taking place outside the Far East, within Europe, within the UK. Right. Uh, things could be getting much worse. All right, Jonathan. Thank you so much. Jonathan Sacerdoti, live for us in London tonight.